How does that saying go? Accuse your enemies, that which you are guilty of, like spying. So if you didn't know, the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, FISA, Section 702, is up for renewal this month, December 2023. Section 702 was sold as a tool necessary to stop foreign terrorists because we were paranoid, and instead we let domestic terrorists try to take over the country on January 6th. But I digress, because the government has been using Section 702 to collect communications for domestic sources because, well, we are in a global society and we communicate now internationally. If the FBI wants to search your emails because you've been criticizing Israel lately, they would have to actually go to a judge and convince a judge to get a warrant to search your emails. But they don't have to do that with Section 702 because your emails could have been routed internationally, so they have now a database of those emails. Because who cares about the Fourth Amendment and the U.S. Constitution because national security? And no, Section 702 was not struck down by the courts because it actually allows Americans to be spied upon by the government while denying them any viable means of challenging that spying. Who said anything about the Fourth Amendment? Now that you're a national security threat, the government doesn't have to disclose that they have evidence against you. They can just charge you with it, as seen here. And there's currently a sponsored reform act for this Section 702, but do you think they really want to change this law now that people are criticizing Israel? What was that about America not being a totalitarian authoritative state? 